Kim here with Little Biz Resources, and I decided to create this video to show you how to use Zapier to post automatically to Instagram using an RSS feed. Now, the only reason why I'm showing this is because somebody asked about it. I don't use this tool to actually post to my Instagram account. So I'm going to show you how to do it, but I don't recommend this method unless you are posting already on a, on a schedule of some sort. If you're not, then I recommend a different tool that I use. And I actually use that because I might do um, 10, let's say if I'm in e-commerce as an example, if I do like 10 different um, e-commerce products at the same time, if I'm doing it through Zapier, I can't schedule it out. If I'm doing it through the other tool, I can schedule it out. So if you're interested in that one, I'll put a link in the description once that video is done. Now for this, um, you could kind of tell I've been playing a little bit here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put RSS um, when RSS feed updates post to Instagram. A couple of things about this: Instagram, you only have um, I guess you have multiple links that you can put in the bio now, but because you cannot put links for most people, cannot put links in their actual Instagram post you would then direct them to the link in the bio and then they can go to like a link tree or something right the other tool i use has links available for that so unless you're posting specifically to um yeah see create media may not be supported and i'm going to tell you this is actually where i had to to mess around with this it does not seem to like the it doesn't seem to like to give the information correctly on this one and you can also see this says beta right here. This is not the one that we want. So I'm going to just go to start from scratch and I'm going to go to zap. And I'm going to select the trigger and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to search for RSS. And they just have the one that's RSS by Zapier. So this one they want me to, when there's a new feed in, and you get to choose your trigger event, which is new item in feed. And then I'm going to hit continue. And then you need the feed URL. So this is where it gets interesting because I don't have a feed URL that I want to put in here. So I'm going to use my, I'm going to use um, a specific one. It is, if I can find it again, it's uh, my YouTube one. But depending on your URL source, you may have, a, it might be a little bit different than this. So if you're like, hey, I'm trying to do this, but I don't, I can't figure out how to map it, leave a, a comment with what your, what kind of RSS feed you have. If it's an e-commerce one from like Shopify, or if it's from WooCommerce, or if it's from a WordPress site, or if it's from some, wherever it's from, it doesn't need to be like your link. It just, you know, tell me where it's coming from so I can do a better connection. But anyway, so we're going to do the feed URL. If you needed to log into the, the RSS feed, which I don't then you would put that here. So I'm going to click off of that so that it registered that. And then I can hit continue. And I can say test trigger. And it's going to say it's like it, the last one it loaded. That's funny. I don't have a one for the 13th, but oh, this is my, my last one. So this is the last time it pulled was from the 13th today. And it pulled the last one. So I'm just going to say continue with selected record. And then this next one, now it's telling me where you want to go. So I'm going to put in Instagram and there's two here, Instagram and Instagram for business. I cannot figure out how to get this to post to a personal account. I suspect they're working on it, but it's not ready yet. So I'm going to say Instagram for business. I'm going to say action event is going to be publish photo because if you put API request, this is that beta part, right? You have to know more, more um, elements in there, which for... I suspect that this is if you have your own app that you're trying to to utilize. And it's I just can't get it to work. There's I can't. So I'm gonna say publish photo. So I'm gonna say continue. And then Instagram account to be used. Um I have one connected here. And then this photo is gonna be for mapping. So now I'm gonna hit the slash and now I'm gonna take the image. So because this is a YouTube um feed, an RSS feed. Uh, I have to find the thumbnail, and this is the raw group thumbnail URL. URL. 
So this is another reason why I hate going through Zapier. You have to figure out how to do these. So I'm just going to go with that one then. And we'll hope that works. And if you want to put a caption in, and you might, so maybe that's the title. So we put the, the caption in there. And then you can tag users or location. I'm not going to do that. And then this one says test. So I'm going to test this step. Do, do, do. Have my own music, right? All right. So it says it sent it. So now I'm going to go to Instagram. That's actually, I'm not logged into this account, but, and you can see it just did it again. I obviously did it before, 10 seconds ago. So yeah, it posted that there. So it takes the, the image that's designated from the RSS feed and puts it in there. If you want to do more than an image, you're probably going to need to use a different tool, right? So if you are like, hey, I really want to post automatically. See, the thing with posting through Zapier is that it's, you can, if you're not doing a ton of posts, you can do it for free. Like I just did. I did that for free. But if you are like, hey, I don't mind paying something. I'd rather have it automated and scheduled and everything else. Then I recommend a different tool. So I will put the link in the description when I get that video up. And in the meantime, if you have questions, just let me know. Thanks.